greetings, greetings, greetings to all of you who are watching us today. And I um, encourage you, my brothers and sisters, to stay tuned until to the end of this video because we are going to discuss to you a very interesting topic about Ezekiel chapter 38, about the end times and what is going on around the world. And also, first of all, I would like to thank God for this opportunity to be able to share the gospel and also to Dr. Nasralia for allowing us to sit down here in his studio. And those who are watching us and you would like to support this uh, program, uh, you can donate any amount and that is a tax deductible on the uh, address uh, under, under the screen, the HTTPS link that link three slash TLGCFC. It is uh, right there on the bottom of the screen. The name of our church is the Living God Christian Fellowship Church. Now this time, my brothers and sisters, let us prepare our hearts to listen to a wonderful music that would be rendered to us by Brother Raymond Lautengo. Worthy of every song we could ever sing Worthy of all the praise we could ever breathe Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe We'll live for you Heart and lead. 
What a wonderful song, my brothers and sisters. It is the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, powerful enough to reach you out to those who are repented of their sin, accepted Him as Lord and personal Savior. All you need to do is to call on the name of Jesus and you will be saved. You will be saved not only on your spiritual, uh, in a spiritual part of your life, but also Jesus Christ, when you call on His name, He is also able to save you from your physical problem, like Amen. sickness, like disease, and all kinds of troubles that may come on your way. Call on the name of Jesus. And you will be saved. Amen. 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 That is the powerful name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is not only limited to a spiritual thing, but also included with all your daily life. Mm -hmm. You can be saved from bankruptcy. You can be saved from your uh, marriage trouble. You can mm -hmm. be saved from sickness when you call on the name of Jesus. Amen. That is the power of Jesus. Amen. According to Acts chapter 4 verse 12, that no, no other name that was given among men that we should be saved except the name of Jesus. Amen. There is the other name of Jesus that was uh, given to us. His name is also called Emmanuel. God is with us. And when the Lord Jesus Christ came here on earth in the second time, he will not be he will, he will not be sacrificing himself again on the cross, but he will be called King of Kings and Lord of Lords. That is the Jesus that we call on this day. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He is the precious begotten sons of God that those people who believe in his name will never perish but have everlasting Amen. life. What a wonderful name, right, the Brother Raymond? Amen. Thank you Amen. so much, Brother Raymond, for uh, that wonderful song. Peace Amen. Now, this time, my brothers and sisters, I would like to share to you the, uh, the scriptures that tells about the current events that we are experiencing today. And that is in Ezekiel chapter 38. And I would like to call uh, Brother Arthur, my uh, gentle giant here on my side, <laughs> to uh, read Ezekiel chapter 38, verses 1 through 7. 1 through 7. Yes. Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face against Gog of the land of Magog, the prince of Rosh, Mesek, and Tubal, and prophesy against him, and say, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O God, the prince of Rosh, Mesek, and Tubal. I will turn you around, put hooks into your jaws, and lead you out with all your army, horses, and horsemen, all splendidly clothed, a great com company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya are with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Gomer and all, all its troops, the house of Togarma from the far north, and all its troops, many people are with you. Prepare yourself and be ready, you and all your companies that are gathered about you, and be a guard for them. Praise the Lord. Now, in Ezekiel chapter 38, it seems like God is so, uh, so angry about that, uh, about that uh, nations that is going to attack Israel. Mm -hmm. Now, listen, my brothers and sisters. There, is a, there are nations that would attack Israel in the near future. If that is not in our generation, that would be a very near future. Now, listen to this, my brothers and sisters. There is a name man called Gog. And it seems like this Gog is going to be used by the Lord to test all the nations that would come against Israel. According to, according to verse 1, the word of the Lord came to me, to me this uh, Ezekiel, Son of man, set your face against Gog. In other words, in other words uh, God is not with Gog. 
but against. Yeah. And, uh, and God the Father has uh, prophesied against Gog, and, the, and this Gog is described as the chip prince of Meshech and Tubal. Now, listen, my brothers and sisters. Whoever this Gog is, we do not know yet. This is a future person who would call for a war against Israel. But one thing for sure, that this Gog is the leader of this nation. He says that Gog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal in the land of Magog. And according to uh, the next verse, it says, I will turn you around, put hooks in your jaws, and bring you out with your whole army. Wow, that would be a lot of armies. Now, why there will be a conflagration of armies that would total probably by, by million, at least one million, one million uh, uh, soldiers. Now, according, according to the, the current events today, these nations, these ancient nations that is being mentioned in the sequel chapter 38, uh, Magog, according to one of these historians, those are part of the Central Asia. Now, another, another person or another nation that is called is Rosh. That is the remote part of the north in which many um, um, Bible scholars, they refer this Rosh to uh, north, uh, uh, I'm sorry, as a Russia, as part of Russia. Meshech and Tubal, it, this is part of Turkey. And Persia, and we all know that Persia is the ancient name for Iran. Mm -hmm. Now, another nation that is mentioned in, this, in Ezekiel 38, Kosh, that is the modern Ethiopia today, part of Africa or Sudan. And put also, uh, translated in some version, as Libya. And Gomer is part also of Turkey. And Bet to Garma is also part of modern Turkey. It seems like Turkey, the whole part of Turkey is, uh, uh, is as an ally to, uh, to, uh, to Rosh. Now, we all know that Rosh is the uttermost part north of Israel. Ezekiel was sitting in the land of Israel. Now, when Ezekiel says that it could be, uh, it should be the north, so in other words, in reference to the nation of Israel, the farthest north is Russia. Now, if you are, if you, if you are sitting on the nation of, uh, uh, let's say, for example, Australia, of course, the north part is uh, uh, the nation on the north side of the uh, of Australia, but. In, but in, uh, but in, in Israel, the farthest north is very clear that it was Russia. Now, Russia is at war right now. And it seems like that Russia is being uh, uh, beaten up by a weaker nation. Uh, this nation is uh, um, Ukraine. I'm sorry for a, a, a quick... Uh, uh, forgetfulness. <laughs> so it, it, this this nation of Ukraine is at war with Russia, and if you are reading your current events today, Russia has been beaten up for many, many, many days and months for almost one year. Many armaments and ha military hardwares were destroyed by U Ukrainian soldiers, and those uh, latest and modern. Uh, uh, warfare um, a plane of Russia was also destroyed by a weaker nation. Does it mean that the prophecy is not going to fulfill? It will be fulfilled. Now listen to this, uh, uh, to this, uh, uh, to this uh, concept. Right now, Russia is beaten up. But Russia do not accept defeat. Mm. So just last week, China and Russia has a very, um, uh, uh, a very good talk with, it, with each other. And we all know that China is a friend of Russia. And we all also know that Russia is a friend of, of Central Asia, 
All of them are Muslims. And the number one top friend of Russia in, in the Middle East is Turkey. And that is in, in, uh, in, in Ezekiel chapter 38. So why we need, why Russia needs all of those nations? Number one reason, it is because Russia is being defeated by Ukraine. Russia needs soldiers. Russia needs allies. And that is what is going to happen uh, in, in Ezekiel chapter 38. In order to be full, to fulfill the uh, Ezekiel 38. Now let's go to verse 9. Can you please read Ezekiel 38, verse, verse 9, my friend? Verse 9 You will ascend, coming like a storm, covering the land like a cloud. Mm. You and all your troops and many peoples with you. Praise the Lord. Now, at the end times, nearing the end times, it could be it, it could be a, in the first part of the Great Tribulation, or in the second part of the seven years tribulation, or toward the end. Well, uh, we do not know exactly the timing of this event, but according to the scriptures, that the soldiers or allied or the nations that will go with Gog, the prince of Rosh, are like a cloud covering the nation. What, that, what is the nation that they will be covering? It is called the unwalled city or the unwalled nation. The peaceful people living in Israel. And that would trigger, my brothers and sisters, a millions of people will die in the Tebem. And the Lord Jesus Christ after that, Jesus Christ will come back again with great glory. And he will destroy all the armies of the devil. Now, are we, are, are we, are, are we living in the end times? Yes. But we need to pray, my, my brothers and my brothers, sisters. Russia is not our enemy. I am telling you this to you, my brothers and sisters. Turkey is not our enemy. China is not our enemy. They are people loved by the Lord. Jesus Christ died for them. And Jesus Christ wants to also save them. Our enemy is the devil. It is Satan. We need to really focus on the right enemy. You have to know your enemy first before we can defeat the enemy. Our enemy is the ancient dragon. He is Satan. He was the Lucifer. Now, he will use all these nations to destroy the plans of God. What is the plans of God, my brothers and sisters? The plans of God is to give you a hope and a great future. And that hope and future is on this earth for everyone that lives here on earth. But the devil came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And he will destroy every, every family, every individual living here on earth. The nation that God has established are those people who has been created by God according to his image and likeness. And I do believe, my brothers and sisters, that Russia is just an instrument of the devil. God wants to also save them. And Ukraine wants to, God wants to save them as well. And all these Chinese people who, uh, who are now uh, in, with Russia are also loved by the Lord. We need to really pray for them, my brothers and sisters. Our warfare is not against flesh and blood. Our warfare is against principalities, mm -hmm. against spiritual <coughs> rulers of darkness. That is our, our war. The battle belongs to God. Give it to God. Pray to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because God is going to make a war for us. And if God would stand before you and me and praying, then God will do a victory through a march for us. He will defeat our enemy. Right, does Sister Varna? Yes. Now, how would you feel, Sister Varna, that we are now living in this troubled world? How I feel about it, Pastor, is it, it, it is troublesome. Mm -hmm. Pero, like, 
it, it's a matter of you being prepared. Mm. Actually, um, having that faith in Jesus that even people in Israel are protected by God. Mm -hmm. They are loved by God. Mm. So if you have Jesus Christ in your life, you, you know that you have that protection over you because you are protected by Jesus. That's correct. Yes, that's, that's the only hope that I have. Amen. Yeah, having that hope in Jesus Christ that, you know, I will be with God even, Amen. even when the end times come. Amen. Yeah. Don't you know that our preparation must be individual, personal? Mm -hmm. We cannot prepare for the nation. Only we can pray for them. Yes. But the preparation is individual, personal. How about, about you, Brother Raymond? Well, for me, um, knowing all these things that uh, are happening right now, mm -hmm. I have this sense of urgency mm -hmm. to, not, to not only get ready for myself, but to uh, bring people to Christ as well. Mm. I, mean, I, I, I want to be the light of the, you know, mm. I, I want to be the light that, that will be used by God. You know, I want to be the, I, I want to be an instrument that, that, that God can use so that I can bring people to, to, to Him as well. Not Thank just bring myself to him. Mm. I have this really sense of urgency. Mm -hmm. right now. That's, what I mean. That's a very wonderful desire, my brothers and sisters. Aren't we desiring for the salvation of many people as well? Preparing is not also also for us a personal. That is a very personal preparation. Mm -hmm. But we have to also pray and desire the salvation of many people who are lost today. Amen. Many people are lost and blind and they're walking on the street spiritually dead. Now, I would like to encourage you to come to Jesus and to encourage you to also share the gospel of Christ Amen. so that they too would live eternally with Christ in heaven to be given a gift of eternal life. Shall we all pray, my brothers and sisters? And um, let us uh, focus ourselves to the Lord. And can you please stretch out your hands toward the screen, those who are watching us today, and say, Lord, Lord, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive my sin. Forgive my sins. And bring me into the light. And bring me into the light. Lord God the Father, Lord God the Father, I believe on Jesus Christ, I believe on Jesus Christ, who died on the cross, who died on the cross, and rose again from the dead, and rose again from the dead. From now on, from now on, you are my Father, you are my Father, and I'm now your adopted son, and I'm now your adopted daughter. Through Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ, Amen. Amen. If that is your simple prayer, and you pray that with the sincerity of your heart. I believe that even before we finish our prayer, God already answered you. Thank you very so much. welcome to the kingdom of God. And let us continue to be the light of the world and sharing the gospel of Christ of his salvation. This is my prayer to you. May you be blessed more than you desire to be blessed. God bless you. Amen. 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 Amen.